Hey, everybody. Happy Monday. All right, let's see. Uh, while we're giving everybody a chance to jump on, I'm going to pull it up on my laptop. That way I can see the comments on here and I can turn them off on my phone. When you jump on, make sure to say, hey, where you're from, how your Monday's going. Nobody loves Mondays but me. And it's because I don't, um, it's kind of like, uh, I get to, uh, hey, Helen from Georgia. Um, I get to get a lot of stuff done. It's kind of like a three-day weekend. And, um, and if we've done something big, like this weekend, we worked all in our yard. Today, we were able to go to Augusta and get most of the mulch. We have to go back tomorrow. And, um, but listen, if you're jumping on or you're watching the replay for the first time, don't forget to not just follow, I mean, like, but also follow. That way, if we have any new, um, videos, it'll notify you. Or if we go live, it'll notify you. All right. Tonight. Hello, Deborah from Aiken. All right. Michigan, North Carolina, Missouri, Arkansas. Hey, Leela. Leela, hope I'm saying that right. Or Layla, or Leela. Mary Lou. Hey, Cynthia. Vicki from Texas. I jumped on Janet Smith, Tennessee, still working. Weeding in the flower beds. All right. Okay, thank you so much, Rosemary. For you, those of y'all see what Rosemary just posted, if you click on Sins Crafters, and you can become a member of it. You don't have to fill out any questionnaire. You know, it's simply, it'll send me a notification you want to join. I'll accept you. That way you can see what all of our other crafters are doing. They may change up. There may be something they've seen from another crafter that they'll put on there. Um, you don't always have to post your stuff. You can just look at others. Um, so make sure you uh, click on there and it'll send me a request and I'll see it after we're done. Hello from Florida. Good to see you tonight. Arkansas loves you. Thank you, Krista. Mississippi, Illinois, and New York. Okay, I'm going to show you what we're doing tonight. If you remember during Easter, we made this craft. And I'll, and I'll go over the things where I bought them from. Um, but we're going to redo this. We had these little wooden eggs that wrote out the word Easter. And you can see where I took those up. And I put them in my Easter box. Uh, probably somewhere down in the bottom. And I have it here. And I'm going to change it to like a beachy scene, something summer. Um, but I wanted to tell you tomorrow, same thing. Remember we made this truck and we had our carrots in it and we used the corn, the metal corn picks from the fall. We made carrots out of them. I took it out of there and I'm going to take this bow off and we're going to do this tomorrow. And we're actually going to change this truck into a 4th of July truck. Um, but I wanted to let you see, you know, some of the crafts that we make, you can use them for other things. Like I took the carrots out and all I have to do is just take this pipe cleaner off um, the little, and we're going to change it up totally. And we can make it 4th of July without painting it. We can leave it the truck green. doesn't matter. Um, but we'll see what we'll do with that tomorrow. But I wanted to let you see what we'd be doing tomorrow. Because maybe we will train that changed the truck up. Wanted to show you, I ordered uh, another set of stencils. And this time, instead of putting in a, like a springtime farmhouse, I think I put summer house. I mean, summer farmhouse in there. And this is what I got. Just like the other ones, I think they were what, like nine or $10. I think one big one, probably like this was $12. Um, I got another, uh, one that has bigger ones and smaller ones in it. This one for the summertime, y'all, has a lemon in it. When life gives you lemons, make something sweet, which I really like. I like having the word lemons. And y'all, you know, you can use these stencils for anything. Like I could just want to put the stencil of the lemons on something. Um, you know, just the, uh, the little part right there or the lemons. You know, you don't always have to put, you know, it all together. And this one just says summer paradise. And like, you know, you have the word summer, which is good. I don't, I'm not a big summer paradise person, but I like having um, the um, palm trees. And let's see, this one was a sunflower. Uh, you are my sunshine. And it's got a bee on it. 
You got a big flower. Love that one too. Let's see, this one looks like another lemon one. Let's see. Um, lemons, hold on, oh, that's because I've got it upside down. All right, fruit market lemons, locally grown, and then it says fresh and juicy on the side, and it looks like the S has not come out all the way. I've not had that yet, but it looks like I need to pull out the S. But love having that big lemon scene, and then another way to write lemons. Let's see. This is a summer truck with lemons on it too. Lemon Farm, open daily, fresh and sweet. Where did you get these? Vicki, I got them off of Amazon. I ordered them a couple of days ago. I believe they're prime, so it didn't take me but a couple of days to get them. And I really like this, fresh pineapple. You have like 10 cent if you wanna do 10 cent on anything, you know, or you can do 10 cent a pound. This says served here, premium juice and pina coladas. I like that. Best on the island. Okay, and then it says fresh pineapple. So, you, you know, you can always split all these up. If you actually want to store them, you know, you can cut your pineapple out. You, but, I mean, leave it together in case there's like a big piece you ever want to do. Watching from Prince Edward Island. Okay, and this one is, let's see, says a uh, beach, sand, surf, and sun. And it just has a beach. I've got a ball over here, you know, an arrow. And this one says sweet summertime, and it has a little bit of um, lemons up here in the corner. But I can share this link on Sins Crafters, how I did uh, the other ones. So you can see, um, to click on them and go right to them. But I'm telling you, the search in Amazon is really easy. You just go up to the top, and I think I clicked on um, either uh, summer lemons farmhouse and just you know kind of putting all that together and, and, or, and put set of stencils that way it won't give you just one but you'll see when it comes up it's going to send you like you know all kind of ones and you just have to pick out i like getting these group ones um that way you know you get more bang for your buck missed you last night but here tonight um Pe hey peggy uh, Pennsylvania. All right. It's sticky on this little side. It's trying to catch the whole group. Oh, I'll have to put it in from this side. Ugh. I don't think the last one. I need to get take these to work and put them in my binder. I'm not real big on stenciling words. I usually use my carbon copy and find something because that way I can print them any size I want. But I do like having these pictures, the lemons and the pineapple. They're not the sticky kind, like uh, just this paper is being sticky to get them back in here. Um, you know, you do have to tape them down or hold them down. I mean, I know that is nicer, the ones that stick down, but you pay for that convenience. Because usually they're like $15 for just one. Um, love them going to, yeah, I love all the lemons. All right. Um, all right, so we'll get started on this. I'll tell you, this will be the third craft that we've been able to do with this box. If you remember first, it was actually a box that you set, um, you know, actually this way. You know, and you could put things in it. I put these rubber mats from the bottom on the top because we I decided to make it more of a shelf setter. So the first thing we did was Daddy Sweethearts. We did for Valentine's Day. If you remember, we had the hearts on them and I put all of our names and Sterling, our dog, the girl, for Chris. Um, and I put it up on my mantelpiece. Then... We changed it. I didn't want to take that daddy's sweetheart off, so I put it to the back. And we made an Easter one. And we used this little plastic fencing that I got from Dollar General. Not Dollar Tree, but Dollar General. And it's kind of like the landscaping plastic that you see in the Dollar Tree. Uh, this just happened to be a white piece. And we um, connected it on the back with just some popsicle sticks. And uh, we did more of the Easter colors. We have a lot of yellow in it. We're gonna change that color tonight. I do like these little um, bows that are on the end, but I'm gonna take them off just because 
I think that I'm going to put them in a different place. All right, let me wheel my little cart over here and get me some scissors, some scissors, scissors. All right, so here's our little bow. We're just gonna take off the end and we're gonna turn this into a beach theme. Hey, CN, late tonight. I love the sunflower one. Yes, I love, I mean, I, I love the fact that you know, when you get a set of things and you get them alike. I mean, they have some that you can just buy one, um, but, you know, it, those sets are just, I mean, there's so much more. And, you know, even though they're big scenes, you can use individual pieces out of them. Hey, Judy from Connecticut. Hey, CN watching from Connecticut Sprinkled. All right, two people from back to back. Missed you last night. I had to take granddaughter to the hospital. Oh, Stephanie, I hope everything's okay. All right, so now we're down to kind of like the bare bones. And what I'm going to do is we're going to use this kind of as a beach scene. So I'm going to use more sand. We're going to take this yellow color out and we're going to do more like this is the sand, you know, the little fence on the dunes, you know, the sea. I guess you could actually put something behind here. Like if you wanted to put your sailboat behind here that we did yesterday would be great. Uh, make your own sailboat. Um, but this is going to be more of our beach um, uh, beach part. So I'm going to turn this to, hey, Carol from Utah. Spreading the sand. All right. Uh, Rhonda, did I miss something? You wrote bow. Let's see. Um, I don't know. You just wrote bow. So we'll put this out of our way for a second. But we, we're going to have these. And I love these. They're just plain. And they're already the sand color. So we're definitely going to use these. I'm just going to put them in a different place. And I'll show you why I'm going to put them in a different place. Because I've got something to go with it. Now, right here, you know, where I took off those eggs, it doesn't seem too bad. But I'm going to hit it real fast with one of my sanded blocks. We got our little driftwood. I still have all the little beach stuff up here. And I'm like, I need a beach house. Um, Where are my sanding blocks? There they are. Um, I missed it. Oh, you missed the bow? Is that what you meant? Um, it was the bows that were on the end of each one. We had already made them. They're just like little messy bows, but with uh, just a couple of things. So I'm gonna just make sure that this is flat. And like I said, we're gonna... Um, Cover it, you know, like the technique we used for the sand last night. I'm gonna grab my um, uh, foam and hazelnut because both of them together give me those beach tones that I really wanted in the little painting we did last night. So let's see where the foam. Here's the foam. But you know, if you have like an any kind of brown, I would say brown is too strong um for sand like if you have like a truffle or something like this but just add white to it or you can actually put a lot of glue on this and you can buy sand at the dollar tree at walmart hobby lobby michaels you know anywhere sells you know beach sand get like a really fine beach sand i wouldn't get like that playground beach sand all right so i'm gonna set this to the side just a little and that way you'll be able to see okay what i'm doing I see you, Harry Potter. Watching from Tennessee. Oh, yes. We didn't, we didn't make this bow, but I'll go over the things that are in it because it's a really simple bow and just has about two or three pieces. It was just on the end of here. Um, all right. And I'm going to be a little heavy-handed with these colors at first, and then I'm going to add the white to it because and the reason why i'm going to do that is because i need to really cover up a lot of this yellow which you know the yellow uh, is a tone that you could uh, mix in with your sand and wouldn't be too bad you know you got to think sunshine and all that that's not a remember judy i think this is what you said looked like an egg threw up on my um my craft and this probably would be easier now if you're starting from scratch. Um, and you, these little pickets you can make with popsicle sticks. You could make, um, use, uh, 
um, what do you call those things? Uh, paint sticks and make your own, you know, because the box, you know, you could, you, you'd have a good place to glue them on the back. All right. Like I said, I'm gonna be a little heavy handed on this, but I'm gonna go back and add a lot of white to it also. So it won't be so camouflage looking. -y. All right, you could make a cabana and put at the end. Yes, you could get a little lighthouse. Oh man, yeah. Um, like we've been making, we made the huge terracotta one for my mom, but you could always get little terracotta pots and make a lighthouse on the corner. Y'all, you know, beaches is, uh, you know, so many things. You got like the nautical, and then you have, you know, beach ball, more primary colors. Beach can be anything. I really um, prefer the more sea glass blues. It's just the color of my bedroom. So I like those, but then, but some people think of like beach ball colors when you think of the beach, but I tend to like the sea glass colors. Okay, so see, it looks really like that, but I'm going to um, stick a lot of white on it. Well, you know, since we've got so much on it, I want to bring a little bit of lightness back into it. All right, I'm just going to do these colors. I'm not going to so worry so much about that because it's tending to, I'm getting it on my little fence, and I don't really want to go have to go back and do a lot of touch-up on it. All right. This color, this color. And remember when you're using two tones painting, you don't always, you're not blending them. Um, you're using, uh, you know, multiple tones. And what I mean by that, and I'll explain a little bit better. I think I explained it well last night, but it's like when you're looking at sand, um, hold on, let's see if you can see. Well, the shadows are probably going to make it. Um, say, you know, you could take a little bit of your darker color and do like a heavy little streak there. Then you can take your lighter and put it right there. You know, and then you can take your brush, go all the way across. You don't always have to. You can have multiple tones in there. And anytime you're dealing with something natural, you know, things in nature, they're never like, you know, your grass is not all the same color green. It's multiple color greens. So sand is the same way. You're my favorite crab. Judy, you're so sweet. All right, so I'm gonna grab, and I think this is the one I made yellow. No, I've only got a little bit left in it. Look, I think it's got some yellow tones in it already for probably me doing this. I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna go in my white. And then I'm just gonna add some white back to it. But you, I want you to notice how I'm not gonna blend that all in. I like the streakiness of it. See, love the streakiness of it. Like if you got like a real heavy handed piece of white right there, you know, you can smooth the edges out, but you can leave that center, a little bit more white. Does it matter? All right, let me put a little bit on the front. I don't wanna grab it too much with this little fence. All right, so let me put me some white tones on the front. I like that heavy white stroke right in the center. Soften it up. See, I love that right there. The uh, streakiness of the colors just makes it, to me, look a little bit more natural. Yes, I love uh, lighthouses. Yes, lighthouses are so pretty. And you see, we made mom's with the sand color. Her, you know, like a little sand one would be so perfect right there with all the little shells. 
You know, you could just use this as, you know, when you get those really big, pretty conch shells and you don't always have a lot to do with them. All right, let me add a little bit of more white there. All right, so just that simple, we have our beach. And let me turn it back around and I'm gonna dry it a little bit so you can see We've taken the yellow out, but we've added that beach. See how I've got like that heavy white here and here? I like that. I like, you know, to me, it just looks a little bit more natural um, when there is not just one solid color. But that's all about preference. You know what I mean? I mean, you could go back and blend them together. Use like a, like a, a brush that you would um, put blush on with and very lightly buff it. And it'll keep that streak, but yet it'll it'll buff the edges together so you don't have such sharp edges. And that makeup brush is like the perfect little blending brush. They need to just go ahead and put one over in like the painting section. Because if you've ever painted, you always have to have that in your paint uh, section. All right, let me make sure I'm putting the right tops, lids back on. Here, that is a hazelnut. No, this is the hazelnut that was fall. Missed you last night. What did you make? Last night we made a ocean and it was beautiful beach. Yes, we took a boat last night. You'll have to go back and watch it. It's so pretty. Even Chris, like I said, most of the time, he's always so sweet to me and says, oh, that's so pretty. But I can tell sometimes by his face when he's like, he really liked something, and he really liked it last night. It's not really masculine, but I don't know. Bless his heart. He's probably sick of carrots, and we're just so glad I put something in our mantle in our bedroom that wasn't a carrot, um, but that's where I put it. These sea foamy sea colors are kind of, I don't really have a sea theme in my bedroom, but those are the colors of my bedspread and my curtains, so um, I don't know. Um, Amy, I am making just a beach scene. We're refurbishing um, the Easter sign that we did. So we're turning it into a beach scene. All right, and every night I unplug this and I always think, why am I unplugging this? Because I'm gonna use it tomorrow night. But y'all, we worked so hard today. We're mulch, we're down to the mulch. We got the irrigation. We got all the black tarp done. And y'all, I don't know if you've ever put black tarp down after you put the plants down. It's awful. And and but we could not put the tarp down first because we had to put huge shrubs in them. So we needed the tractor to dig the hole because you know in our hard rock uh, clay there was no digging those holes. So we had to track their hole, uh, you know, and dig all of them. It's mainly what we did yesterday. Got them in there. Edged the border. Then today we put the black tarp down. That's the first thing we went out. And y'all, I was like, okay, we're selling this tractor. I, I'm sore. So, I mean, I'm on my hands and knees and you're trying to put black tarp down and you have all these plants in your way. And then you start thinking, why did I plant all these plants? I just needed two shrubs over here would be fine. It was pitiful. Chris was like, I think I was really acting like a woman because he was like, I mean, you're all over the place today. Because I really was like, let's just sell this. I said, this tractor, we can go on vacation what we spent on this bed. You know, I can't do it anymore. So finally we got that part done. Then we went in the irrigation to it just a second. And then finally, you know, we had to drive all the way to Augusta because our Walmart didn't have black mulch. So we had to go all the way to Augusta. And you know, you start putting the mulch down and it just tightens it all up and, it, and then it's so beautiful. And so then you're like, okay, I'll do this again. <laughs> uh, but this is in a long three days. What did you use on the box on the bottom? I don't know, what did you use for the box on the bottom? I bought this box. Um, from Hobby Lobby, already made, um, but it was, it's actually like a little planner box, but we decided to use it as a shelf center, so we turned it, I took the little pads that were on the bottom and just, they were sticky, and, st hold on, you can see over here, and stuck them to the bottom, but it's actually kind of like a planner box, and I think it had 
relax it had like or be calm it had something written on one end of it you'll have to go back um we made the easter thing probably in february um maybe january um but it's just a planner box turned upside down and you really can find these planner boxes any sizes um uh you know at any craft store really you can find them Walmart had them, uh, any kind of little boutique down uh, in your town that kind of goes to the market on Thursday, um, always tend to have them too. Uh, Amy, I'm tired, but it's like a good tire, you know, that accomplished tire. It's one thing like last night when you go to bed and you still you know you have a full day ahead of you. And we probably have to buy about 20 more bags of mulch. This is a pretty big bed out there. Um, but it's, I feel like these three days we've got something beautiful to show for it. And um, I can live with it. You know, being this tired. I don't know. It's kind of like a... You know, like you can let your breath out tired. Because last night, I mean, I was so tired going to bed. And, you know, you just, I'm one of those people, my brain doesn't shut off. So all I could think about as I'm going to bed last night is all the stuff you have to get up and do in the morning. What's the best order to do it in that you'll maximize your time and, and you know, get finished. And it was, so tonight I'm tired, but... It's so beautiful. I told Chris, I just want, and it's in the back of our house too, where our garden is. And um, I kind of just want to put some picnic chairs out there and just look at it for a while. Like nobody's really going to see it that often, but it was a very ugly bed. I'm going to make tiny, just uh, awful back there. And you know, with our raised beds, everybody's always wanting to go back there and see what we have planted in the garden. And, you know, Buffy is big gardener, so she would like, you know, showing off her garden back there. And it was just so ugly back there. I think when Chris and I built it, we were just, when you build your own house and you contract it out and all that, you, you forget that doing your yard is a lot. I mean, you need to save like a big budget for our big time. And we did not. So we've had to do like spaces as we go. And we've really gotten lazy in the past. I would say five or six years, like getting the girls through driving cars and college and all that kind of stuff. So finally, we kind of have time where we want to spend a lot more time on it. What did you use the box on the bottom? Diane, I think I think you're the one. That will be beautiful. You look tired. Has anyone else heard that only 200 stores across the United States are going to get the nautical supplies? Doing boat beach on window just for Ronnie. Oh, that's pretty. Hey, sweetheart from, hey, Joe from Louisiana. In case you missed it, Martha wanted to know if you took art classes in college. No. Um, hey, Sin. Hey, Karen from uh, the Bayou. Um, Karen, do you know Joe? I asked her one night, but I think she said you didn't. Hey, ladies, coming in. What you making? We're just refurbishing a um, craft. Hey, Sin, how is everyone? I got my package today. Thank you so much. And good. I mean, y'all, I knew those packages like a long time ago. I bet you could use cardboard box. Yes, because even if you got this exact same fence, it's extremely light, y'all. It's plastic. It's even hollow in the back. So there's no weight to it. So if you made one of these boxes, and you can go back over the bunny box that we made, um, like, uh, it's like a, a old toolbox type bunny box that we made. Just use those same instructions um, to put a bunny box together. Just, you know, you're gonna put ends and you won't have the bunny up, turn it upside down. And I have not looked again in Dollar General for this fence. I got two pieces that night and I just, you know, I, I don't do a whole lot of crafts out of one thing. But um, it's really flexible. But if you use popsicle sticks or paint sticks, you know, you can curve them and shape them anyway and just use the straight piece on the back. It was just, it was only like $2 for one piece. And I, but it was, I think it might've been in January when we did this the first time because it was pretty early for them to start putting, you know, like spring things out. 
Um, Dollar General, yes, is where I got the fence. Not Dollar Tree, Dollar General. All right, so we've painted kind of our beachy scene, I think. I think we've pretty much dried everything. A little bit down here on this end, but... And now this a little dry. I probably could have put some more white in it if you want to do um, have a little bit more bright. But with this being so white, I think I'm fine with it. I can live with that. And y'all just think, see how I stripped this down? I stripped the bows off the side of it, took the yellow out of it. You know, you could make this, you know, a sunflower patch. Um, when the fall gets here, you know, we can change it up again and make it some kind of like a garden or something. Um, I'm new to changing crafts like this. I'm not, I usually take my wreaths apart and do multiple things with them. But as far as my crafts, I swore that I was going to change some things. And this will be our second thing change. We've got one more interchangeable thing, our truck tomorrow. And then um, we'll be able to make some uh, newer things. Okay. I'm gonna get my nautical goodies back out because this shouldn't be too hard. You know, I still have that, like, it looks like coral. It's like a, um, uh, just a pick, but it looks, it's little bitty beads, but it looks like coral. We still have our driftwood. Um, I've, got, I've got these little uh, lanterns and I've got, I got these from the Dollar uh, Tree. Love the color, don't wanna change anything about them. And I think, unless it was something in my room, I, you know, I'm not one to, like, put this outside, you know, me in colors, y'all. But a little, there's a little tea light in it, which I guess if it blew out, you probably could take this out and just stick a new little tea light in it or somehow pry that out of there. But what we're going to do with both of these, is these are going to be our end pieces, and they're going to kind of hang on the end like there are, um, you know, a lantern on the corner of, the, of each fence. I wish there was kind of a way I could put it up top, but we're going to end up hanging them. And I want to do a, um, a garland across it, like a sea garland. And I want to either use, we're going to see which one is easier. Either our, um, and we have our little, still got our little clip that um, I think we'll use. And then we'll, we're gonna use these same ribbons kind of in the back of our, um, that's what the end will be. We're gonna put this on it, but I'm gonna probably add a little bit of, um, you know, color to it, some kind of beachy color to it. I think this is what we used last night, the sailboat, but I don't wanna use these dark colors. And here are the, the maybe, I don't know if that's too far off. We'll look. And I also just have this plain one that you can get from the Dollar Tree. All right, so, um, what we're gonna do is figure out how to um, make a garland out of these um, sand dollars. And y'all, if you have real shells, you can buy a little, um, uh, like drill bit and your regular shells. Now, I don't believe this is real shell, the stuff from the Dollar Tree. But a real shell, you can get a little tiny drill bit and, and they really drill easy. I mean, they just, it, it's, it almost like turns back into sand. What it was, you know, before they used it. Hello, Sin. How's everyone? I got a package day. I bet you could use cardboard box. Yes, Dollar Tree. Am I behind on the comments? I think I am. Yes, it says new comments, 27. Why is it so behind? I'm learning a lot. Oh, girl, you look so slim. Thank you, Kim. Hey, y'all are making my niece and name sign and I lost track of time, but not too late. No, you're not too late. Y'all, I'm going to have to go through some of these. Do you see my message? Yes. Um, I'm going to have to go through them to catch back up. So if there's something you asked, ask it again. Now it's on like real time. Um, it's fun. Get craft, art craft stuff. Yes. All right. So what I want to do um, is make a little garland that will hang on my fence. And y'all, these are white. 
I wonder if I put a little bit of brown. Let's, we did starfish last night. Let's do these um, sand dollars. And what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna take a little bit of my, let's see if hazelnut will give me the color that I want. And just, I'm gonna use my finger and put a little bit of edge on here, yeah. And that way we'll see them on our fence. Yeah, I like that. And what I'm doing is I'm just putting a little bit of edge on it with my finger because I can tr I can control the, it's almost like I'm distressing it, but I'm really just giving it like a little border so I can, uh, so you'll see it on my fence. Ooh, and I'm gonna rub over that. You know how it has that little starfish right in the center of it? Maybe go around the little holes. It's almost like this hazelnut is almost like a gold on it. Okay, I like that. All right, there we go. See, and it has that little starfish in the center of it. Of the, um, yeah, I love that. And now we'll be able to see it against the fence. Love the color of the lanterns. Fishnet would look good. Oh, it would, but I, you know, if I had to tell Chris where that was. Um, I did like uh, big dinners for the girls when they graduated college, I mean, graduated high school. And Buffy's was a nautical thing because we did like a low country bowl for hers. And I had to buy all this net, you know how that like, it's real net. I shouldn't say it's fake because it's not. You don't, from the Dollar Tree when they put those like little bag of nets, I had that stuff everywhere. And so I have like this wad of it left. And I keep it up on the top of my cabinets in this one little crate that's like a decorative crate above my cabinets. And uh, I, I could get Chris to get it down. If he walks back in here, I'll tell him to. Yeah, but I like that. So we're just kind of, I mean, it's almost like you're distressing them. Same thing we would be distressing them. They're just not going to be stark white, you know, and you can actually see that little uh, starfish on them more. Love the color of the lanterns. The seahorses would be cute as garland. Yes. Am I like the only crafter out there who prefers to do stuff like this with your finger? I feel like with a brush, when you're trying to just put something on the edge of something, you don't know what your brush is touching, so you may put too much or whatever. So when I really want to control where I put something, I love doing it with my finger because I feel like I can control exactly where I'm putting it. Yeah, they had these really cute little, um, you know, like ornaments. The sea, seahorse, a mermaid, um, all these little beach ornaments. Like you usually see the little wood ornaments. I didn't get any. All of those were gone. So that would have been really cute. And these little things seem awful small. Um, these. But, I mean, not too bad. Let's see. We used those last night. But, yeah, the seahorses would be really cute. And I've got some wooden ones in here. We may put them in between, maybe two of them in between our um, garland for this. And I am going to use um, just jute for this. I think it would be really cool if it wasn't white, my fence wasn't already white, to use the nautical rope as like your garland. But I feel like... I don't know, it's almost like it's a, like a dirty white, so you actually can see it. You put that out of the way. We're gonna have to glue those two. Our, um, let's see. Cause I wouldn't mind using this, but I just feel like it's too much white. The white of that, the white of the fence. 
Uh, so we'll just maybe use regular jute. But maybe we'll be use the big, like rustic jute from the Dollar Tree also. That looks like, you know, it's, it's just a nautical um, looking thing. Some jute around the top of the post, like rope. Yes. Let's see. And then I probably can do some kind of like little fun knot on the end. And it could hang past our, you know, something we're already going to do over there. Yeah. Because I'm trying to see if this is pretty long. So if I can get this in here and not knock Chris's uh, like here. Like have a little, oops, have a little knot. Oh, still not in there. Have a, the little knot almost hanging down, like the little nautical knot. And remember, we'll have our bow and our lantern on the end here. So you may not see that knot unless I really do it down a little bit lower. I've got a I've got a pretty good bit of this, like the length of it. So I'm like hang, have that hanging down somehow, and you would see the knot. Okay, all right. So we got to come back in front. I got land shearing stone. I do that. You can feel what you are doing. Okay, good. Um, some ju. Okay, round. How about loud sharing stone around life preserver would be cute. Yes. And then you could do the black. Like if you're more into red and white, navy blue, throwing in um, 4th of July colors. Um, yes, that would be awesome. You could put little firecrackers in the corner of them. Um, you know, you could do nautical and 4th of July. You know what I mean? Like sailboat. Like last night I told you you could do the sailboat and get in the beach and the 4th of July. And then, you know, Life Preserve rings, they um, they already have the red and white in them. All right, so we're gonna have one of these here, one in the center, and then one right there, one right there, this here, and then this. And these things have a little bit of weight to them, so I may have to uh, adhere the rope to, hold on, let me see if I can set it behind here. Um, I'm trying to, I'm thinking about my security now of the craft. Have that there. You really don't tell that the rope is actually behind here. Okay, I'm gonna do it that way. That way I know a little, um, all right, it's heating up. We have our driftwood. Y'all, I'm really liking this driftwood. Remember we talked last night? Um, I got it from the Dollar General, and it's just a little pack, and it was $1 for this, you know, several, like, little pieces. And we, we used three out of it last night, and there are several more in here that we can put, like, on the corner of it, too. All right, so let's see. Let's see if we can work on while I'm waiting on my... Let's work on our little bows. Okay, what these bows are, that's what I tied it on over last time. It is the mesh with the little um, cotton in it. And we just did, I cut a piece this way and we cut it and I cut links and we crisscrossed it just like a messy bow. You, I, you know, cut it up like a ribbon. Then we use just a plain little burlap. I don't know if I have the plain little burlap. I try to keep my basic colors up here. But it was the same size as this, except it's just the plain burlap. And we did a little tiny X of that in the center. And then we did the um, ribbon that looks like net and we crisscrossed a piece in the center and we just tied it together. So it was just three different fabrics. We tied it together with some jute. All right, 
Even though I'm not a big fan of this little silver thing, I think it's gonna help me, but I'm gonna cover it up with something. Get this tied on here. And we're just gonna use our little trusty jute. And I love when you when we make jute themed bows because then you can just add your jute into it and it doesn't look like you've um you know had to get like a whole different like little string you can cut them off let them hang down uh, netting would look good use a small jute to the sand dollar to the fence okay all right so i'm gonna tie that on here and then i'm going to just put the center of this little ring through one of them. Oh, let me put it on the bottom. Cause you know, I want it to dangle down like it's a, you know, like it's a true little lantern, but I want it to, and I don't want my lantern to cover up my bow or my bow, you know, like I want it to, like it's like a little jewel in the middle of it. So that's why I'm gonna keep that ring on it, even though it's silver. So I think that's perfect. Okay. And then just gonna tie like another little knot and we'll just cut this and let it be part of our bow. The little jute. You got these little pieces, you know, you can always add them. You know, making it look like that net is um, not a bad idea. Let's see. We could always use, it'll bring another little color in here. Or I really wanna use these little wooden ones. Um, I like these, but for some reason, I, I, I don't know if I want that color tonight. But we'll put them on there, and if at the end, I feel like it's got too many colors coming in. We can always paint them. They're just like these little wood, and they're on a um, clothespin, a tiny clothespin. And it's really cute. It's like white, so we're keeping the clothespin. Oh, and I'm about to break it. It was trying to break. And we're just gonna put that in the center right here to cover up that little hanger that I don't like so much. There we go. So there's one. Let me let that harden up pretty much. And we'll do the other one for the other end. All right. Um, where is Bless Your Heart? We haven't seen her in a while, you know. You don't need her just miss seeing her. She, girl, she is never far. That is the only reason why my crafts are good is because this sweet little lady hangs out with me all the time. I'm trying to think if there's somehow I can put something on her. I'll have to see what we got going in there. But yes, she blesses our crafts every night. All right, so let me get a cup, another piece of jute. What will we do without you? I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna just put my, ooh, and that little jute's got some fuzz growing on it. Y'all, my, <laughs> my little fence is covering up the comments. Yes, I think it's gonna be really cute too. Um, I love these little lanterns. I mean, and I love the fact that I got them and I didn't wanna do anything to them. Because, you know, without the beachy scene, I was like, oh my gosh, this would be really cute, black or white, or, you know, like a sand, a jute color for, you know, farmhouse. So when I saw them, I was like, I really love those, and I love them just the way they are, which y'all know is rare for me. Okay. Tie this one more time. We'll do these as just part of the bow. All right, let me get one more of these. We'll put that down there. We did good with these little starfish. We've made um, two crafts with them. We put them on our sailboat sail yesterday. 
That one came off really easy. We'll use those little clips. Okay, and we're just gonna light the other one. We're just gonna glue this right in the center. All right, we'll set that one right there. This one looks like it's all hardened. Uh, so why did I cut the jute off? I've got the tie it back on the fence. All right, I'm gonna go through this little loop. All right, I'm just tying my jute to the ring of what we're doing. And I'm not gonna put it on here yet, but I'm gonna show you, because now my glue gun's hot enough, but this will be what the edge of it will look like. Like, you know, it'll dangle down. I don't want it to sit on there. Okay. So, those are all ready to go. Let's put our sand dollars on. Bless your heart, heart. I know. And I like when I'm, I make a any kind of like little swag, I mean little garland, I like for some of this to like droop. Um, so, I'm going to take this and let's see. I think I'm going to do... Y'all, I'm weird. You know how it has three holes on one end? I'm gonna have to do them all with the three holes down. Watch y'all say, no, that's up, but I, I, I like it that way better. Hmm. And I don't think it's gonna let me do that. Y'all, I think it's just too heavy and it's not flat enough. But I'm thinking I'm gonna utilize these little holes on, on the, um, that was the beginning on here like right here utilize this little hole on the side and hopefully this will blend in let me do one on the other and this is like the little twine that you get in the Dollar Tree in the automotive section it's really it's cute but it's really small it's really good for thread and beads but um let's see let's tie a little knot Y'all know how high I am about. It's got to be, like, secure. You know, I don't want to hold it up and something fall. That would be awful. Let me tie a little knot. I'm going to tie the knot kind of towards the back. So, we only have, like, that one little piece of jute on the front of each side. And I really like using this big, but this big is way too um, big for this. Um these holes in here so okay I'm going to secure one over here and it may flop for just a second trying to hold it tight we all love her Diane I'm so glad y'all love bless your heart because that night when I made her I cried like I'm done as a crafter they're gonna hate me after this like the next night when I had a few of y'all watching I was like thank goodness because it was so sad okay now this one is hiding from me back here so ha Oh my gosh, that feels so secure, y'all. I mean, they're pretty heavy. You know, they, they're not like, they're normally like little light wood pieces. They got some weight to them. I mean, like a real sand dollar does not weigh anything like this. You know, they're so delicate and, oh, I almost ripped that off. Delicate and, and light. They break really easy, especially after you put bleach on them. All right, so there's one of ours. And if that juke drives me crazy, that little piece that you can see right there, then I will um, paint it white. The seagull on the driftwood would be cute too, or a seagull sitting in a nest on the driftwood. Um, yeah, like, I mean, like on a post, yeah, nest, seagull, yeah, I don't think sometimes y'all need me. Y'all are too good without me. Well, I really like to just do this because we have a good time. Not that I think y'all somewhat need me. All right, so we'll put one right here. Let me do this a little bit more. All 
Okay, and we'll do the same thing to this one. Let me get a little bit of this cute. If you miss me later in a month, I am on Baby Watch. Grandson will be here round the first. Oh my gosh, a May Day baby. Beach scene, love it. Love the sand dollar. Yes, sand dollars kind of are my favorite. But probably it's because when I was little and we used to go to Myrtle Beach and we would bring sand dollars home. And you know how like you have to put bleach on them and they stink to high heaven. I don't think it's like illegal now for you to bring sand dollars home from someplace. And they used to you used to find them with your feet and they would make your feet turn yellow. But I remember, don't you worry about bless your heart. We've all been there with one craft or another. I've been there with lots of those crafts. But it was just so funny how it was in front of all y'all. And I was trying to be so quick about it. See, like, you know, just doing any kind of thing will make a quick little pick. And it was just, it was with one disaster after another. But at least something really good came out of it. We all love bless your heart. Thank goodness, because that night I did not love her. She knew I was crying, thinking, and then we had to put eyes on her, and she just became our mascot, so she's really the best thing that ever happened to my craft show now, but not so much that night. That night, I was pretty sad, and we were in such a hurry trying to finish that um, fireplace. All right. Mimi now, y'all, my grandmother, Chris's grandmother that he takes care of, she is 98 now. And I swear this woman's going to live forever. She is just the best thing. Her health is so, so good. I mean, they're, they're physically, is, you, I mean, she moves a little slow. But physically, she is in the best shape. Um, All right. Make sure I've kind of got this where I want it. Yeah. Um, Y'all, she was just, she will amaze you how well she is. I mean, you know, her memory is shot. She doesn't, you know, if you went to see her two hours later, she would forget you were there. But as far as her health, physical health, so Chris, she's going to live forever. I don't think my girls could take losing her either so it's probably good they've never lost anybody in our family yet um but she is just i, I don't even know what 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 you tell people when they're like what is the secret to how healthy she is i'm like i don't even know what to tell people i'm like i don't know she walked every day not walked to get her heart rate up just walked because she enjoyed walking and moving and up until her memory, this little mild stroke she had a few years ago, she um, still cooked. If somebody was sick in the church, she was on a care committee, and she cooked. And um, and then some people would say in the church, because it's where I work, you know, well, I, I hate to ask Mimi to do that. I know she's older. I'm like, no, y'all, that's the secret. She just keeps moving. So, um... I don't know. I guess maybe that is what it is. She just has never stopped. She's real regimented on her schedule. So it helps us. Doesn't matter what time you go over there. She says, I eat lunch at, I mean, I eat supper at 530 or 6 o'clock, whatever time it is. I'll have to ask Chris. You know, like, I'm not going to eat a minute later or a minute before that. And for Lent, she's an Episcopalian. For Lent, probably, gosh, I can remember. It's been maybe about 10 years ago. She gave up potatoes for Lent and lost like seven pounds, y'all. And she's like this big around anyway. So that is something her memory has not forgotten. If Chris, if he gets her to eat potatoes, he just snuck it in her meal somehow. But wow, yes, 98. 98 and she is just like she was two years ago physically. I mean, like I said, the mental part... Um, is is basically the reason why we have to go over there. But I mean, she knows not to cook anything on the stove. Um, um, but you know what I mean? It just is weird. I mean, it's just weird that somebody her age 
can take care of themselves. I mean, now look, Chris has to go over there about four hours every day, um, like two in the morning, because he puts out his lunch, well, for lunch. That one seems a little bit closer than the other one. Um, put her lunch out and stuff, but, you know, taking care of herself, she, um, she can do all that stuff. All right, let's see, there we go. Yes, and I'm just so glad Neely and Buff have had her for so long, because you know when you have your great-grandmother, you know, sometimes you, you can't remember because you lose them when you're around 10 years old. I actually had my great-grandmother, she was 94 when she died. My Annie, she's a hoot and a half now. Very religious, but she'll get you with some switches like no other. All right, y'all. I love that, and I love the colors. I think it would have just drowned it out if I had not put that little sand color around the edge. All right, so we have like a big loop around the other side that's actually tied in the back. And loves golf. Mimi, Lord have mercy, she loves golf. Loves Tiger Woods, loves baseball, Atlanta baseball. And she's got a smart TV now. We have internet for her, and we ha she has discovered, which she doesn't know what it is. She just thinks Chris, I think, just put some kind of movie on for her. But YouTube, he can go over there and do, like, Tiger's greatest golf games. And she'll just sit there for two hours mesmerized. So, okay, I think we'll cut this off. I'm going to cut it off probably a little bit longer than I need to, just so when I'm doing this little knot, it's kind of hanging down, and I still think I cut it too short. Just to have that little nautical knot there. All right. So there we have it. And I've left these on each end. Let me cut this little plastic piece off. On each end down a little bit further because you still may not be able to see them when we put our... And see, I don't want... This one seems lower. Hold on. Did I put it on here lower? I think I did. Cause I really don't want it to sit, but that one may have to sit on the ground. Put the little knot, hold on. Hopefully this one is gonna sit right on top right here. I may have to lash it to give it that strong bond, but let me see. Chris is a good grandson to his Mimi. I know he must love her so much. He does, but their relationship has definitely changed. Not in a worse way, but, but you know, it, more of an authority. You know, like it used to be the other way around. You know, he would have told his Mimi, raised his voice at her. And he doesn't raise his voice, but sometimes he has to talk over her. When she, if she starts to panic about something, like if she thinks she'll have a dream and think, you know, people are coming over to the house and, you know, he'll have to go, no, 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 Mimi. That was just a dream. So some of their role has changed. And then some, you know, for a long time, probably a year or so ago, she thought he was her son. He would mix up his daddy and him a lot. Now she mixes up her husband who has been dead for 30 years. So it's 93, so 28 years um, with her. And, and you know, because she's not looking in a mirror and she doesn't know, you know, she'll forget her short-term memory how old she is. So um, um, I don't think I'm going to need that thing in the back. I think I'll put it on there and I'm not going to need it. Because hopefully, no, this one, see, this one I did a little bit shorter. Um, but now, you know, so now it's kind of like she looks to him, uh, you know, like he would probably used to look to her for guidance and all that kind of stuff. 
but she's so funny. Cause she'll just say something out the blue. Like she used to work for defects, like the children's, you know, oh gosh, I don't know how to define like, you know, like if in the middle of the night you had to go social services and get children and stuff. So she did work the night shift at one time, what she would call the night shift. And we didn't realize that one night she told Chris when he was over there, she says, I'm not working the night shift anymore. And we thought, we were just like, okay, she's never worked the night shift anywhere. But then we realized when, when Big Chris, my Chris's dad, said, no, she did, they would have to stay on call and be away and be, you know, to answer the phone if anything happened to children in the middle of the night. Y'all, I'm loving this. Look at that color. I even like the little blue. It's like the sea foam and then the blue, the like little shiplap blue. Um, more of a crystal, like a sea glass blue. All right. So, I'm going to leave. I thought I had some little shells up here, but I really don't want anything to change that. Uh, glue stick to... Oh, uh, glue stick it to put up higher. Yeah. And, and look, I've seen the best thing about these little lights, y'all. Well, I have to see it first. Is look, they will actually come on. See the little light, they actually really work. And I tried to pull some lanterns in the back that somebody had not left on in the Dollar Tree. Oh Lord, must have a timer or something on it. Okay, so that to me is the best thing. Okay, I think I'm gonna take my little C horses just to give it a little color in the center. Now I have the blue. Okay, it's a little bit darker than the, um, little uh, starfish, just a little bit darker, but kind of in the same family. So I don't know if I want to put like a little blue one right there, or if I just want to put, they have just wood color, which I guess you could paint them any color you want. I kind of like the, just the wood grain. All right, come on. But I think the blue looks better. Y'all, now I'm just adding stuff to it. But remember I had the little sailboats, but I'm into more of this, you know, what's in the water as far as wildlife. See, I've got the blue. Or do you like just the, I think the blue is better. Are you adding sand? No, I'm not adding sand. I'm not that brave to bring sand into my bedroom. You know, that stuff gets everywhere. But like Leon said, when you go to the beach, put ba baby powder all over you and it will go away. Leon from, and she's from Pensacola, which she lives right on the coast. I'm gonna put this in the same little pack. Um, but remember we have our coral. Let's see. We could add like flowers, which I kind of do like that. But I don't like, ooh, I can bend that. If I did a little coral back. Bend this back and I'll show you this because I really do like this. And if I had, no, I almost wish, and I think I might have another sand dollar, but if I put that, yeah, okay. All right, I'm gonna show it to you because I love it just the way it is. And I think I'm gonna turn these little lights on and I can turn my, my light, my halo light off and we can see it. Oh, now, of course, oh no. This one hadn't been, the little tab hadn't been pulled out. I was thinking this one wasn't gonna work. Yeah, I got to do this one up a little bit higher. Okay. 
I put the little coral in the center of it. That little, uh, it's not really coral, but that's just kind of what it looks like to me. Almost like a, a seaweed that's kind of came up on the beach. Um, remember, we have our driftwood. So you can pick that little driftwood up and we could put some little driftwood in it. Y'all, you can add all kinds of stuff to this. I really like this a lot. And this is our third project with the same um, board. And we'll probably do something else with it, you know, up in my room, you know, especially 4th of July. I think it's like July 3rd or something like that was like the first time. I have to look up what my anniversary is when I started. Um, but let me turn the little light off and y'all can see. what it'll look like with the little lights on it on each end. I love that, y'all. And I'm gonna take a picture of my mantle. I think you'll really get like the full effect when it's on the mantle. I know, I do love this. And I mean, gosh, you could just do anything. What did someone say earlier that you could do a lighthouse, I mean, a, a, a life preserver rings on these. Um, and y'all, these little lanterns, even though I picked them up there and I happen to get the same little color, you could, if you find any kind of little lanterns like that, you can always spray paint them that color. Because like if I got sick of this color, I could just put a little tiny piece of tape on the light and then I would just spray paint the entire thing if you didn't want them to um, stay beach after that's over with. Um, we talked about you could put flowers on the back of this. The... Um, uh, tiny little boats. Uh, listen, maybe I'll take the boat to work. Remember, I have one boat, and I cut it into three pieces, and I can trace it. And if you send me your email, go into my inbox, my inbox right now, and say you want me to send you the sailboat, and I'll trace it out and send it to you. Um, because it's not fair that it's not in every one of them. And so that lets me know it's not going to be in mine uh, here. So those are the only ones I'm going to have. So I probably won't do anything with that other one. Um, I'll just keep it for a stencil. And I can send it to you stencil. Because, y'all, it's, it's cardboard. Um, the only thing that's on it is like the word beach. Which, you know, you could just... I, I, when I... When I in the corrugated paper. Remember the little pa textured papers on the side? But y'all, I mean, that's the inside of a box. Um, so just go into my inbox and tell me that you want me to send you the stencil of the sailboat and I will send you the three, and I'll send it to you in three separate pieces. So either you can cut it out, you know, just cut it out, put it all together and do one piece, or you can cut the three pieces like we did last night. I think making it dimensional would be really pretty, um, but you don't have to do that. So I'll send it to you in three pieces, um, and that way uh, you can make your own boat out of uh, poster board, and Dollar Tree just have to get over it because they shouldn't have just limited to certain <laughs> stores. Um, I got a block long wood today at the Dollar General no fence, I need, now you need the fence. Yeah, but remember this fence, um, you know, is uh, the sculpt part of it. You could actually just put your popsicle sticks on the back of your um, box like this and then cut your, you know, sticks so you don't have to worry about if each one of these is where it's supposed to be and cut it ahead of time. Just mark it with your pencil, you know, or you can do one straight across. It doesn't have to be this like little fancy stuff. But yeah, just go into my inbox and let me know if you want me to send um, you the uh, sailboat. And I will um, stencil it out um, tomorrow at work and get it emailed to you. Emails are free. So you're not bothering me if you want um, to get the uh, sailboat. But thanks so much for watching. Remember tomorrow we're going to refurbish this one to be more 4th of July. I kind of want to leave it this color, but yet we're going to put firecrackers and stuff in it and we'll change out our bow. But if it comes down to it where we want to just be a red truck, I like that green. It, it tends to go with everything. And, um, but we'll see.
Um, I like this cut, still like this up here, the two tone, the black. I don't think we did anything with these colors. So I think it'll be really cute to do 4th of July. If not, I'll grab some uh, flowers and we'll make it more of like a sunflower truck or something. But that's what we'll do tomorrow night. But thanks so much for watching, y'all, and I will see y'all tomorrow.